Is TR to PR program coming back? How it would look like? Would it be a temporary program or a permanent pathway? Everybody in immigration industry is asking this question. So let's do some fact checks and find out ourselves. So watch the video till the end. Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Puneet. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant, and I practice in here in Mississauga, Ontario. For any immigration inquiries, you can reach out to me, and my team will be happy to assist. The topic that we're going to discuss today is that whether there will be a new TR to PR program or not. So why everybody in, is these days talking about reappearance of TR to PR program? There are two important facts that we need to see or understand before we proceed with the analysis. So let's check. Okay, so first thing to understand is motion M44. This motion was tabled in the parliament on January 31st, 2022 and was accepted by the parliament after three rounds of debate on May 11, 2022. Basically, this motion mandates the Ministry of Immigration and Citizenship Canada to expand current economic programs to accommodate more temporary residents. This gave birth to the thought process that there will be a program which will be similar to TR to PR program. That is the first thing that gave rise to all these discussions, debates that are happening today. Now let's see the other important thing. So the second most important piece of information that we all need to understand is an interview that Canadian Immigration Minister Mr. Sean Fraser gave to the CBC Radio on June 11th. In his interview, he basically talked about the, con the TR to PR and the upcoming pathway. So let's hear it. I spoke to a young student from India who got his permanent residency last week under the temporary residence program to the permanent resident program, the TR to PR program, as you refer to it. It doesn't exist anymore. Are you going to relaunch that? So the TR to PR program, uh, just so people understand where it's come from, was a response to a very specific change that had to be made during the pandemic when the border was shut down to protect communities against the spread of COVID-19 across Canada. We pivoted our strategy to resettle people who were already in Canada on a temporary basis so we could continue to reliably grow our population and add more permanent residents. So why not continue it? Well, that's a, it's a good question, actually, because we are looking right now at the best path forward to create a permanent pathway for temporary residents. This is actually one of my mandate letter commitments, and I want to give a particular thank you to my friend and colleague, Randeep Sarai, the member of parliament uh, from British Columbia, who's responsible for Motion 44, that actually puts me on a clock to come up with a framework to establish this new permanent residency pathway, not just for international students, also for temporary foreign workers. We're in the depths of planning the policy so we can have a policy that's not driven by a need to respond urgently in the face of an emergency, but actually to have a permanent pathway that provides a clearer path for those seeking permanent residency okay. who enter Canada on so, temporary. So it's been said, the PR to PR program was a temporary workaround that was taken during the COVID period. It was not a permanent program. But after yeah. Motion 44, the Immigration Minister is on a clock to come up with a new pathway for the temporary residents and how to how to easily convert those temporary residents to permanent residents. And as he said, he's on a 120 days clock, so the motion was approved in May 11. So somewhere around uh, September 8th or September 9th is when he has by by September 9th, by that date, he has to come up with a new pathway. So again, TR to PR program was a temporary response to a specific COVID type scenario where they were not able to source people from outside Canada. This, on the other hand, is going to be a permanent pathway, similar to Canadian Experience class, similar to Atlantic Immigration Pilot, similar to Rural Pilot. This will be a permanent path. In September, when it will be released, we will be able to figure out what it really would look like. Would it be a replica of the r pr program or would it be a specialized program tailored specifically to cater and help more temporary residents settle as a permanent residence to Canada? So let's, get, let's wait for the details to come out as and when the details of this new immigration pathway will be out. I'll be happy to 
come back and explain it to you what it means. In the meanwhile, I would say, make sure we are ready. Your education documents or your documents are in order. Your interest is, is valid. Uh, make sure we have all the documents ready. And as and when the new pathway will be announced, we will be uh, in touch and we will try to explain it. We regularly post videos on Kenyan generalization. If you enjoy our channel, please like, subscribe or hit the bell icon. Thank you.